More often than not, the scissors is a useful instrument when separating things. But in the West Donegal town of Dunlow, it's one of the factors which unites three women. Rose Boyle is the mother of a large family. Her husband is the local taxi driver. One of her immediate neighbours is Mary Newport, wife of the local bank manager. Breach Gallagher, like Rose, is a West Donegal woman, born and bred there. Her husband works in a local co-op, and they too have a family. Just over a year ago, the women met at a weekend course in patchwork. Afterwards, they used the information learned to create small pieces such as this. The results of their efforts surprised them, and soon they were working on more intricate designs. Most days, the women continue their patchwork during their spare time. Financed by loans from their housekeeping money, they kept buying more materials, and their collection of work kept on building up. Well, this is a quilt that's called Cathedral Windows. It's made from calico and uh, uh, cotton materials, washable, all washable materials, can be all washed at the one temperature. And it's a very interesting quilt to do. It's done up in 12 inch squares. There's 20, how many squares? 24 to 12 inch squares in that. And the nice thing about this quilt is that you can sit by the fire in your spare time and do it as the whole thing is completely done by hand. This week, the ladies headed off to the neighboring town of Burtonport, where they are enlisting the help of more women. Their biggest problem at the moment is that they have no place to market their wares, but they are working towards the idea of starting a small industry in the area. My feeling is if we have things that we can export, it'll help to offset all the things that we're bringing in from other countries and maybe do a little for the balance of payments, you know. And I think it's a good thing for the country if people can be got to do something like this. What do you think is it. the greatest lesson you've learned from all this work? Well, um, the greatest thing has been the realisation of <clears throat> uh, sort of a latent talent, I would say, that everybody has, which is left undeveloped. Uh, most people have this. They are creative, but that side of their, uh, them has never been developed, uh, b possibly because of our educational system, maybe because, especially in this part of the world, it was just the sheer necessity of, of getting a living and existence in years gone by. But now I think people are more conscious of the creative side of everybody's nature, and for us it has been a tremendous experience to have learned how to do this and how to produce something which is artistic and which is very satisfying. You have no room for boredom in your life once you take this up. Also, you have no guilty conscience about sitting in front of television or sort and feeling that you're just sitting there um, looking on and doing nothing. You're sitting there and you are doing something all the time.